What up, good folks? What's up? I said, what's up, good people? Also, oh, today, today I got just a slight unboxing. Uh, I received this package, one of these packaging yesterday and the other one two days ago. Um, so let's find out and see what's happening, what's in these boxes. Both of these, I don't know. Um, the first one I'm going to open is coming from my man, um, a very good dear friend of mine, Lenny. Lenny Cruz, that's my man. We went to high school together. That's, that's my brother, like for real. <clears throat> We've always kept in contact. Um, it is very special to have friends like that. I mean, you know what I mean? Most of the time you lose contact with people you go to high school with, middle school with, so on and so forth. But this brother's... We, we've been brothers through thick and thin. Um, I got just a, a select few friends like that that I've known you know, since my childhood. And uh, he, he supports everything I do. Um, that's rare, man, that's rare. Like, you know, you lose contact. Um, either you have a YouTube channel out and sometimes they fall upon your YouTube channel out, but you know what I mean? Don't say nothing in the comments, so on and so forth. But you know, leave text messages is good. But he does both. I mean, we talk. Um, just about, not, not, not all the time, just about every day. He, you even see him in the comments. Um, but he had a surprise for me, right? He was like, yo, I, I, got, I got something for you. He's like, I got to make up for the last time, you know, uh, I sent you that KO. For all those that don't know what I'm talking about, it was, a, um, it was another figure. Um, I believe um, it was an unboxing that I did at the beach. Uh, I think I titled it Unboxing at the Beach Boy. And I was hella excited to get that Batman figure out. And then when I got home, I found out it was a KO and the, the excitement kind of went down just a little bit. But um, at the same time, Lenny, he's not a collector. He's not a toy collector. So he don't know what to look out for. You know, he don't know if it's a KO or not. All he want to know, all he know is that he just want to bless his brother with something. You know what I'm saying? And, and that right there is special to me. So even though the figure may be whack, Lenny is never whack. He's always um, got a hundred percent harder, harder gold, and I love him and I appreciate him dearly. Even though the figure is whack, he's not whack. The figure may be whack, <laughs> but my brother is never whack. You know what I'm saying? And, and even though the figure is whack, I'm still gonna display it. I mean, it's from my brother, man. So you know, when people come by or you know, I show the collection, be like, yo. That's a whack figure from my brother, man, but I love my brother, man. <laughs> I gotta mess with him, I gotta mess with him. Uh, but let's check it out, Let, let's, see, let's see what he got me. So this is the redeem figure, he said. This said. He said this figure is to redeem the last one that he sent me. All right, so here we go, here we go. Uh, let's see, all I know, he wouldn't tell me what it was. Only thing he said was, um, that it's a redeemed figure and, you know, I should like it. I'm, I'm guessing that it's Batman, but he said it's a two-parter in here. So we'll see. We'll see what's happening real quick. Um, got bubble wrap. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So the, the box is now empty. I've never even seen this before. This is nuts. This is nuts, man. Wow. Yeah. Yo, I I'm digging it. I'm definitely digging it. KBB model. Supersonic. KBB deformation. Can we see that? I don't know. The glare might be crazy. Yeah, that's a crazy, crazy glare, but it's a bot. And it got that, got that Lambo. Got that Lambo style on there. Yo, this is, this is nice, man. Lenny, yo, this is dope. I am, I am, a, I am getting back in the bots. And I guess he does watch my videos. True and true, I'm getting back in the bots and definitely this is crazy. I'm really digging this. Yeah, I can't wait to transform this dude and see. Cause he looks he looks hella big, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I like that. I like that. That hey Lenny, this is dope. This is dope, man. Hey, you redeemed yourself with this. <laughs> My man redeemed himself. I can dig it, brother. I appreciate that, man. 
Hey, much love to you, brother, for sure. Hey, tell the little ones, my nieces and nephews, I said hey, too. But uh, this one right here, yeah. This one's coming from my dude, Tony. Tony Wynn. For all those that don't know who Tony is, Tony, um, also a couple of videos back, I believe um, I was doing a hunt on fight night. It was when Floyd Mayweather was fighting, uh, what's her face, what's his face? His name will pop up at the, at the bottom because I can't remember right now. But Floyd Mayweather almost took an L to him and during that fight I had, I had, had a bet going with Tony, right? That um, if Floyd Mayweather lost, he could get the Havoc figure. And if Floyd Mayweather won, obviously I had Floyd Mayweather. Um, and I won uh, Degree. Yeah, yeah, Degree, Star Wars. So um, I won, and he sent me Degree. And I, I did that on the, on the unboxing. But um, Tony, he just he just a real special dude. He's a real special guy. He admins... And he's also the creator of MOC Thugs. Um, that's a group on Facebook. It's a real dope group. Um, we just hit, they go with my plastic wrap because the wind is kicking like John claude Van Damme. Let me secure this plastic wrap so none of the, none of the other ones fly off and I ain't littering it in the streets of Honolulu and it just fly off my deck. Anyway, um, so, Tony, he admins, like I was saying, he admins and he created the, the group MOC Thugs. It's for 18 years and older, um, but also this is a two-parter. One, one of these gifts or two of these gifts are for me and a t-shirt. I do know that, I don't know what they are. And the other one is for um, my boy Omar. We call him Big O, AKA the Samoan Shug. One of them's for him. Tony said, yo, I got something special for both of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Because um, y'all such good dudes and I appreciate you know, the help on the page. So um, we help admin that page along with, um, I ain't gonna even rattle off all the names because if I forget a name, Cats is gonna be mad. But it's about six of us that admin that page together and uh, um, I appreciate it. So let's see what Tony, let's see what Tony got myself and my boy O. Let's see what's cracking off. Dog. He said, he said, oh man. My boy got me another. another oh man. Cats know I'm trying to get at least two or three of these, man. And Tony came through with number two. Number two, Hydra two pack. You need at least, I'm gonna say three to four of these because they come with one, two, three, four extra heads. If you count the two that already come on here, that's six, you know what I'm saying? So in the quest of me trying to get at least four of them, Tony blessed me with number two, man. I mean, it's a surprise because he said, he said, man, I, I I can't come off the other one, man. He was like, I only got two, you know what I'm saying? I can't come off the other one. I was like, that's all good. I was like, that's all good, man. Don't sweat it. I understand how that is. But lo and behold, man, as a, as a good guy as he is, Tony, hook that, hook that Hydra 2 pack up, man. I appreciate that. And then, and then, hold up. Hold up. What is up? Hold up, dog. Okay, one of these shirts is for O. And I think this one is this one is O's because it feels it feels bigger. O, o is about six six five, almost three hundred, but like two and some change, I believe. Or maybe he might be three hundred. So I know he wears a triple X, and this one's for me. I already know this one's for me. Yeah, like I said, M O C thugs, baby. Yeah, hey. In my next video, I'm definitely going to be wearing this, this MOC Thugs Uncensored. This came out dope, man. This came out real dope. The graphics and everything. I like it, Tone. I like it. It's nice, man. Got to represent. Got to represent the MOC Thugs, baby. All right. 
I can't believe he hit put that up. And the other two in here, I gotta get with Tony, man. Cause he said, he said, he said, <laughs> he said one was for O, but uh, I ain't got this guy. And uh, bruh, <laughs> if this is for O, and I gotta call you, Tony, I gotta call you up. And then, uh oh, yeah, it's from it's from the Super Friends joint. It's from the Super Friends joint. Y'all remember the old Super Friends cartoon that used to come on back in the day? I used to watch that. So yeah, this is the Aquaman, and of course I just showed you the Superman joint. I mean, come on, man! Like I ain't never seen I ain't never seen these in person. I'm a big DC guy, and. Yeah, Tone, um, I know for sure, I know for sure this, this this was mine, I know for sure. He said, you a smart guy, you can figure it out. Yeah, I know for sure this was mine, okay, yeah, I got that one, but but them two, oh, it's not a big DC head, so that one got me scratching my head. But uh, I got something a little special for you guys today. Um, so usually I do, um, I do ACBA shots, right, in my house. And I used to do, you know, the outside location shots with my figures. Um, but this time, I've been meaning to get some Rogue One shots because I've been shooting a lot of Marvel lately. I shoot some DC here and there, but quite, late, quite lately, it's been Marvel. Marvel shots, Marvel shots of figs, you know, in my fig photography. So this time, I'm gonna throw in my other love, Star Wars, and I'm gonna take y'all to the beach with me because I want to get a nice, um, Rogue One scene kicking and, 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 and going um, and I, I've never done this before I've never showed outside shots with my actual camera you know and showed the layout and and how it looked so this, this is gonna be new for me it's gonna be new for y'all so hold on tight and hopefully it turns out good don't forget to follow me on Instagram definitely follow those links of the pages that I admin at because those shots that um, I put up always be on my Instagram and I always usually put them up on the um, Facebook pages that I admin at. So check check the actual shots out there and uh, I see you at the beach and we will materialize. Yep. Whoa, bam, here we is. So I used to take a lot of out, outdoors location um, fig photography. I get, I got, start getting so frustrated with the, with the wind, and then the, the hot sun beating down. The wind plays in the fact because it knocks your figs over after you get everything set up. Um, the wind's not too bad today, but uh, it's still a lot of work. You sweat a lot, all for just that one perfect shot. You know, you take about a good. 50 of them <laughs> and out of the 50 you get one good shot so I really I, I rarely ever do location shots anymore but for this rogue one shot um cast I had to make make my way to the beach and I'll show y'all what I'm talking about check it out so from the point of view of Donnie Yen he just took it out one of the scarab troopers shore troopers pan over to his buddy Baze he watched him take him out at the same time going on over here he didn't took one out himself bam he's trying to reach for the gun trying not to die this one over here he's definitely getting in the action got the one in the back also getting in the action he just took a spill by no other than Cassia. Cassie's got his sights aimed in. Oh, and there go the figs knocked over. One last time. So basically, it looks like the good guys are winning, but then here it comes. Old Vader coming out. Coming out the woodwork. And that's what I'm talking about, how your figs all get knocked over. Look at that. I don't know how many attempts I tried to get this shot, but uh, 
for all those who try to do fig photography and location shots you know the struggle you know the deal with the wind and everything um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video I think I'm gonna end it right here because I'm tired of being out here it's very frustrating and uh, I just want to lay these shots down get them up on Instagram and then um, then that'll be it all right y'all see you next time like I always say love what you collect collect what you love be patient with yourself be patient with your hunts and if you're patient enough even an egg can and will grow legs it's your boy plastic addict I'm out of here see you next time plastic addict ah.